Hi everybody, Lee Craker here, coming to you from rural Thailand. Thanks for joining me. This is the uh, Prechenberry train station market. It's a morning market. Most of the vendors will be closed up by noon. In Thailand, most of the markets that uh, I go to are specific to morning, afternoon, or evening markets. They try to catch the uh, the people at certain times. This market is a fresh vegetable market, but it has a little bit of everything. Everything is fresh. Quite busy at uh, this time of, of day. It's around uh, 7.15, I guess, in the morning. I'm shifting my eyes between looking at the uh, screen for the video and uh, then looking up to make sure that I'm not run over or that I don't run over somebody else. My wife, Jang, is uh, shopping for face masks, which is always a, a good thing nowadays. Give you an idea of people are some wearing masks, some not. I would say that probably 80 to 90 percent of the people are wearing masks. Thailand was very into wearing masks for protection a long time before COVID-19 came along. Here's a little lady in her shop. Swadika. Swadika. Okay. <laughs> As usual, people in Thailand are very friendly, especially when you have a camera. One thing I've mentioned uh, in a couple of my uh, blog posts is that. Uh, Thailand is still one of those places that considers it an honor to be photographed. It's the attention that you give them that they appreciate. So I'm just kind of wandering around here. The market itself is maybe two city blocks long. It's called the Prechenberry Swadika. It's called the Prashenberry uh, train station market because uh, right across the way there is the main train station in Prashenberry that heads hello that heads to Bangkok or Cambodia. So this will probably be a rather short. Uh, video there's not a lot of things going on today just normal everyday Thailand life 
in the marketplace. When I first moved here nine years ago, these markets were really the only place to uh, get fresh produce. Then big stores came along, supermarkets. And they have good food and all that, but it's always nice when you can to buy fresh. And of course, that's what these places are all about, is fresh produce. Most of it probably picked yesterday or this morning. Early, brought in by truck from local farms. Every sort of vegetable that you could want, really. And they have chicken, pork, other things. Thank you. It's nice to get treated as a tourist. He said, uh, welcome to Thailand. I answered in English instead of Thai. It would be less confusing. So this is just a little walkthrough of uh, Freshenberry train station market. Very busy. Continuing my walk through, I stopped and uh, put on my mask so that I don't look like I'm uh, an irresponsible type foreigner. This lady has been here for the entire nine years that I've been living in Thailand, sitting in this same location every day. Today she's selling bamboo shoots, some corn. No, I guess that's not corn, some sort of squash. Always sitting right below the photo of Thailand's king. Which is her her spot. We're getting down to a uh, more open area of the market, mostly uh, outdoors. Now, I mean, uh, not so much cover. <laughs> it's all outdoors. I can assume that the vendors pay for their spots. That would seem very logical. I spy my wife down here. This is uh, just something the local people know, of course, is where's going to be the, the best prices and whatnot. Many, many people shop here by motorbike, so the walkway is always crowded.
crowded with both people and motorbikes. Here's some good looking rambutan. Beside him some little cherry tomatoes. If you're into uh, people photography, which of course I am, this is a this is a great place. You'll see a lot of ordinary people doing ordinary things, which is what life is all about. Here's some melons. Watch your melon. <laughs> Gentleman wants his picture made, so here we go. Spotty mm. cup. Thailand. Cup. Watermelon. English. little transaction taking place here. Lady buying a, a slice of squash, probably for breakfast. And more examples were happening there of the kind of reception that uh, that I get in Thailand, and I, I don't think that's specific to just me. I think the people are very friendly. They not only enjoy the attention, but also they're curious about where I come from, I mean, with my white hair and white skin, I definitely look like a foreigner. Heading back now the way we came, I can see up ahead a, a monk is walking for morning alms. I'll stop for a second and track him for a moment. I would think that it would be pretty lucrative alms in a place like a big market like this. Especially if you're the only monk and as religious as the as the Thai people are, I would think that you would get enough for breakfast and lunch every time you came here without a problem. Sounds might be making it a little difficult for me to, uh, for you to hear me. This is Grand Central Station. I'm doing a circular 360 here. So that way is back to the car. And this way it, uh, it just continues. And uh, down this way we get into more dry goods. And not so much vegetables. A lot of stuff. And of course, what they have is going to uh, change quite often. Not every day, but uh, 
they might carry something that you're looking for today and be out of it after that. Here's a uh, searching for the word. It's uh, costume jewelry. That's what I was thinking of. And of course, always amulets for sale. Thais are very big into omulets. Here's some prepared salads. And other type of food. Mostly salad. That people are getting ready to uh, take home. Ah, oh, here's an interesting looking gentleman. Slutty cap? A little bit of a surprise there as I say hello in Thai. I'm just so used to it, I don't even think of it after nine years. I mean, you know, I could say hello and keep in character, but somebody waves at me and, and my first reaction is to say hello in Thai. Well, this just goes on and on here. And so I need to get back to the car, so we'll do one more little walk through. Some uh, meats and uh, tofu, things like that down this direction. The butcher section here of what's going on. There's a lady preparing some chicken. I'm gonna go down a little side street here. The crazy thing about being a one-man show is that uh, I'll be doing video like this and I'll see still images that, oh, that would be nice to shoot. But I've got the uh, the little handheld video, the DJI Pocket Osmo. I've got it running and going in my hand, so I, I can't just grab my camera and uh, and shoot those still shots that uh, present themselves. So. What I try to do is do everything twice. If it looks like there's some interesting people to shoot with still photography, I'll do another walkthrough using the still camera. I'll try to give you an idea of of what we went into and how we got here. Like I said, this is the Prashenbury train station market, but here are a lot of storefronts uh, right on this section of town. So they've got everything from uh, pharmacies to liquor stores to dry goods, just, just about everything that you, you'd need for your daily supplies. Motorbike parking everywhere, everywhere. I'm going to end this little video right here giving you a, uh, a look down at the road. 
these are, uh, this is a two lane highway. It would be four, oh. except for all of the parking that's everywhere. And a median down the, the middle. And up a ways is the entrance to the, uh, the main army complex here. Back down this way is how I get to my home, about a uh, 30 minutes drive from here. So I'll sign off for this morning. Thank you for watching, and I'll be posting a few stills as well as this video on my blog. Have a great day, thank you very much.